Hello friends, what's going on guys? I am Niladri from High Quality Lead and in this video I will talk about the technical SEO. Like on page SEO and off page SEO, it will also help you to bring your post or articles in the search results in the technical aspect. This is called technical SEO. Uh, but before going into the definition of the technical SEO, it is not very important that uh, what is technical SEO because inside WordPress we are going to do everything practically. So we have to know that what are the points that covering inside the technical SEO. So today we will deep dive into that what are the points you need to keep in mind to optimize your technical SEO. So come to the first point. The first point is configure the permalink property what is that i am inside my website high quality list you come to setting permalink and you need to pick the post name this is required don't choose any other one like play plain day and name you don't choose anything or you don't need to do the custom structure also you need to pick the post name if you pick this one post name so on that case your website permalink will look pretty and it will be optimized for seo and the second point is you need to try to index your articles first whenever you will post some article google may takes weeks or months to index it but you have to force google to index your article so how you can do that the first point is Connect your website with Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster Tool. Inside the Google Search Console and the Webmaster Tool, you will get lot of statistics or analysis that will help you to index your article. The second point is you need to focus on the internal linking. This is very, very important. Whenever you are publishing any post, you interlink with the other post. This is better if you can interlink the post that is already indexed. That is ranking if those posts are ranking inside the inside the search engine so on that case if you interlink those posts into your current post that will help you to index your current article if you don't find the proper uh, anchor text what you can do for example uh, inside the high quality lead website i just write here one review of the product mailer uh, cloud and you can do come below of that uh, article and you just uh, write like this related articles and inside the related articles you just put some articles here this will help in two ways the first of all it will interlink your current article with the previous article and also people will come and read the other articles also so your website bounce rate will be reduced so both way you will be benefited by interlinking the articles so you have to keep in mind you must interlink the articles this is the second one and this will help you to index your article first and still your article is not indexing inside google so what you can do you can use the instant indexing feature of rank map so i will create a separate video for that how you can use the instant indexing feature of the rank map so come to the third point secure your website by enabling ssl certificate you all know that you just go to the plugin section add new plugin and just use that uh, simple ssl plugin that will secure your website here yeah, this is important this uh, lock sign is important if it, your website is not secure website so google will not rank your website so this is also a technical seo aspect you must uh, secure your website by using the plugin really simple ssl this plugin is uh, required for your website if your hosting provider is not providing the ssl certificate you can use this plugin and the next one is your website must be mobile friendly because in present times people are uh, watching the videos or they are visiting their websites through the mobile so use a theme that is absolutely mobile friendly i like to use uh, the generate press theme there are a lot more other things with themes also use a theme that must be mobile friendly and the next point is you must include the social sharing button 
because whenever people will visit your website if they found that uh, particular article or post is very important or it is helpful so they will share your article so you need a plugin called sassy social share there are so many other plugins also there you go to the wordpress dashboard and there you type sassy social share in the plugin uh, new plugin section and this plugin i found very good so you can use this plugin for social sharing button and the next point is fix all broken and internal and outbound link this is important if there is any broken link that will annoying because people are searching something and they are going to some error pages like 301 302 401 403 this kind of error pages if it is coming so that is not good and technical seo aspect also this is not good so so you need to fix all the broken links and also the orphan pages what is orphan pages the pages that is not displaying inside your website you, you are not navigating anywhere inside your website the orphan this is called the orphan pages so what you can do you can delete the orphan pages orphan pages are the pages that is you use for your own purposes only for some time you create one landing page inside your wordpress website and uh, uh, later on you uh, forget to delete those pages those pages are called orphan pages you must delete those pages those because those pages are not uh, uh, navigating anywhere inside your website these orphan pages may be a negative point for your website ranking so you must delete the orphan pages the next point is delete duplicate content if there is any duplicate uh, content inside your website you must delete all such duplicate content and also don't use the same focus keyword to the content if you are using same focus keyword for different articles so this is wrong in the technical aspect so don't do that you can uh, use the several articles on the same topics like if you are reviewing some uh, uh, software like for example if you are reviewing a uh, software like get response you can create articles two three four articles that is not a problem but if you are focusing on the same keyword for all the articles this will negatively impact for your technical seo so you must focus on different keywords for these kind of articles if you are focusing on the same topic you must use the different focus keywords and the next point is you must use an xml sitemap this is very very important for your website you come to the google search console and here the sitemap section here and here you put sitemap underscore index dot xml and you submit it within a few minutes it will show the status success you must do that this is important for your technical seo and the next point is optimize image files and its name first of all you need to compress your images if it is a png image or jpg image you must compress your image you come here and compress png you type compress png this is the website you can compress your images first you compress the image and next what you can do you just convert this jpg or png into webp format you must convert it into the webp format because webp format images are lightweight images and also wordpress like this webp format image so you define you must convert your png or jpg into webp format then only you will upload inside your wordpress website so you must optimize your images and also the name you must put the image name related to that particular topic and also related to that particular image and also don't forget to put the alt text you all know about the alt text whenever we are trying to upload any image there is a portion to put the alt text you must put alt text for all your images and the next is properly point the robot dos txt file you must put the robot dos txt file i am showing you check first that your robot.txt file is there or not inside your website how you can do that come to your website and slash robot.txt and here you can see that that robots.txt files i allow here i allowed here the robots.txt file so you just check once in your case the robots.txt file is there or not if there is 
no robots.txt file so what you can do that you can go to the c panel and there inside your website uh, folder you will find that robots.txt file if your website sitemap must be included there and that there will be allow like this allow and the slash and this must this is very important this robots.txt file is very important for your website for technical SEO now come to the next point that is use schema markup what is schema markup this is a structured data that tells all search engines about your website it improves the appearance of your website for example i can show you in the google if we search what is seo so what it is coming here you can see that with that primary website there are some other links like this one this one this one this one this is possible due to the schema markup also come below here you can see that there are the faq sections also showing that is a website a nail petal website and that faq sections also also showing there okay this is possible due to schema markup there are a lot of other types of schema markup is also there so try to include the schema markup inside your website i will create a separate video for the schema markup but for your understanding right now i can say that this is the faq sections and these are the other links are coming in this uh, search result this is possible due to the schema markup so you have to include the schema markup in your website also you can include the faq sections and there are some other parts also there that i will discuss in, in the new video so schema markup will improve your search results appearance and that will improve the click through rate that will improve your CTR. and the next point is delete all unnecessary plugins if there is any unnecessary plugins inside your wordpress website you must delete all those plugins because these unnecessary plugins will slow down your website speed and that will affect in the uh, for your ranking so you must delete all unnecessary plugins and the next point is defined version should be redirected to the same for example your website www.xyz.com or https double slash xyz.com or only xyz.com these all links should be redirected to the same if you are using all these things separately for your website link what will happen search engine will identify these things that means this www https or simply your website name as a different link so this may hamper your website ranking so you on that case you redirect all your links to the same for that what you can do in the dns setting of your website that means in the uh, from where you have purchased your domain what you can do you just uh, put at the rest for the type a and also for the ww name you put at the rate so what will happen all of your links that www https or simply your website name will be redirected to the same so these are the 13 points will help you to optimize your technical seo and ultimately it will help you to rank inside the search engine so that's all for today if you like this video definitely hit the like button and also subscribe my youtube channel and also don't forget to hit the bell notification because whenever i publish a new video you will be get notified instantly so thank you for today bye bye